I wanted to address a question that I got the other day that was frankly a good question that leads to kind of a good conversation topic. Now, real quick before I get into the question, the person asking this question was someone who felt like they had a lot of weight to lose. So they totally understood why I was saying that weight loss needs to be slow and steady and we don't wanna do these super restrictive diets, but because this person felt like they had a ton of weight to lose, they were really worried that they couldn't let it be slow. They were like, I need to get this weight off and I need to do it quickly. So I hear what you're saying, but I need it to be faster, right? So that's the person's kind of backstory, if you will. And the question this person asked was, why can't I do a restrictive and or fad diet at first, let's say for five months or so, lose a bunch of weight or really get that going and then do it your way. And what this person meant by my way was the slow, sustainable weight loss that, you know, is probably not going to be a pound or two every week. It's going to be really, really, really slow, right? And so that's a pretty valid question. Why couldn't you at first lose weight really, really quickly and then kick in and do it my way, which is the slow, sustainable, maintaining metabolic rate, maintaining muscle, all of those things. Now, many of you who have been following this channel for a while probably already know the answer to that question, but let's dive into it. When you lose weight, right, whether or not that's slow or fast, your body adapts because there's less mass on your person, right? When you lose weight quickly though, your body doesn't really know the difference between healthy weight loss and starvation. Michelle actually did a video on that recently. We can put the link in the description. And it's really interesting to describe how the body reacts to weight loss, especially when that weight loss is fast, right? And so when I say adapt, one of the main things that your body's going to do to adapt to that really low intake and inevitably fast weight loss is your metabolism is going to come down. So let's say this person before doing this diet had a resting metabolic rate of 1900. And then let's say she did follow through with what the question was and decided to do a restrictive diet. Now, just a sidebar here, it would have to be a very restrictive diet. So realistically, probably 1200 calories or something really, really low because that's the only way you're gonna see really, really fast weight loss. But remember, it's not sustainable. But regardless, let's say she followed through with it and decided to do this 1200 calorie diet for five months. And so in the beginning, her resting metabolic rate or how many calories this person is burning at rest was 1900. Over that time period of eating 1200 calories for five months, what she would probably see externally is really, really quick weight loss at first, maybe within the first two months, three months, whatever it might be. And then it would slowly start to plateau or at least just not be as quick as it was in the beginning. The reason that would happen is because that metabolic rate that started at 1900 is slowly going to drop and drop and drop. The reason that's happening is because your body doesn't want to burn more than it's being given. And so it's your biological process, right? Which is kind of cool, <laughs> but it's the way the body is compensating for being fueled so little, right? So what would inevitably happen is at the end of this five months, this person's metabolic rate would be lower than when it started. And so the reason why it would not be successful to do that fad restrictive diet for five months and then do it my way is because then when we kicked into doing it my way, she would likely gain back a lot of the weight that she lost initially because of that lower metabolic rate. Hopefully that makes sense there. So instead, of course, what we wanna do is keep it slow the whole time. The reason we wanna do that is because yes, that metabolic rate might adapt a little bit, but not as much of her doing that 1200 calorie diet, right? So again, if her resting metabolic rate started in 1900, she was eating 1200 calories doing the restrictive diet, her metabolism could potentially drop all the way down to that 1200 or maybe even 1300 really, really low. However, if she does it the slow and steady way, if her resting metabolic rate started at 1900 and we fed her, I don't know, right at 1900 or something like that, created a small deficit based on exercise and all those other things, then her metabolism may very likely stay at this 1900 or if it dropped, 
maybe drop to like 18, maybe 17, but probably not. And then that's going to make it so much more sustainable to actually follow a meal plan, follow what her body needs, and not feel like she's starving just for the purposes of that fast weight loss. So that's why you don't wanna fall into the diet trap, even if it feels like it's for a short term or you're just gonna do it quickly to get some weight off real quick and then you'll do it the right way. We wanna do it slow and steady from the beginning. Hang in there, you can do it. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please leave us any questions you might have in the comment section.